Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome again to this show. Welcome again to uh, this beautiful picture that we will see together. But before that, I greet you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Uh, this is a new picture and I think that it's a so beautiful picture because it shows us that how we need in our life to do this important thing, which is working. But there are a lot of types of work. People work in different fields, in different areas, but definitely there's something better than others. And this is one of the areas that a lot of people don't pay attention. And Islam guides us to this work is better than this, and this work is better than this. That's what they say now. That's what known now among people as priorities. So this is a priority work, for example, is to work in cultivation. The Prophet Sallallahu to encourage the Muslims in general to work and more particularly to work in the field of cultivation because it's a very important thing. The Prophet ﷺ told us, one of the things that, the, first of all, I'd like to remind you that one of the ideas that dominated the brain of the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ is to make this world that we live in a better place. All the time to better, to better, to make it much, much, much better than the, what we have it now. So he wanted to cultivate this in the brains of the companions and encourage them by a revelation that was revealed to him. And one of the, his statements, he said that, مَا مِنْ مُسْلِمٍ يَزْرَعُ زَرْعًا أَوْ يَغْرِسُ غَرْسًا يَأْكُلُ مِنْهُ إِنْسَانٌ أَوْ يَأْكُلُ مِنْهُ as he said, the Prophet وسلم, with the meaning of the hadith, he said that. Now, every Muslim who plants a seed or plants a bush, right, that a human being eats from it, or an animal eats from it, a cattle, or a bird eats from it, unless it is written for him, it's recorded for him. It's counted for him as a piece of a charity. Charitable act. So not only he would gain something in this life, worldly reward, salary for that, but also he is rewarded by Almighty Allah as long as a human being benefits from what he cultivated or even a cattle would benefit from it or a bird would eat from it unless he is rewarded for that, for everything. Even a person who would take a shade under a tree that's cultivated by a human being, planted by a human being, he, this human being, he or she, will be rewarded for that. And again, this is a very important thing that if you want to invest your money, you need to know how to invest it in a good way. In this life, you get reward, you get salary, you get money, you get profit. And in later life, you get reward is by going to the direction of cultivation because everyone needs that to eat and to even inhale the oxygen that comes out of it. There are many benefits from that. Again, I'm quite sure that there are smart people over there who are watching us who are going to make their investment in this area of plantation. But when you look at what the Prophet ﷺ said here, as you can see, that a lot of effort is done here. You can see the sweat on the back of uh, those people who do the cultivation. That's why the reward is great from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And here the Prophet sallallahu wants to make uh, the whole world a better place. But the way that he did it, not through organizations and not through the governments, but he had a different approach. He wanted to make it on the and to make this happen on the individual level for many reasons. If it is done on the individual level, so almost everybody can take rewards from Almighty Allah for that. And at the same time, on a large scale, if each individual is responsible for doing this cultivation, you can imagine what would happen to the world. It's not just an act of a government. It's not just an act of a ministry. It's not just an act of an organization to take care of that, but it's an act and responsibility for every Muslim. 
to the degree that the Prophet ﷺ makes a great transition to say that even if you know that there is a danger that will happen, even if you know that the day of judgment will take place, if the hour takes place, is about to take place, and you have a bush in your hand, and you have a seed in your hand, and you can plant it before you die, do that. Wow! If you listen to this hadith, you would immediately say that this is a messenger from God. This is a prophet. This is not an average human being, even the best human being. No, this is much, much better. He is the top human being. He would say that even if you know that you are going to die soon, you still need to plant it and cultivate it. Why? For many reasons. One thing is that you need to know that it is so important to make this world is a better place, although even if somebody would not get benefit from it. But because they are commanded by Allah to make it better, to cultivate. Even you are, in addition to this, you also know that work and plantation particularly is very important and essential for this life. Because you're going to benefit others. It's not just something for you, but you benefit others. And we know that the best among the people are the ones who would give benefit and submit benefits and offer benefits on a large scale to other people. What a beautiful picture and what a beautiful meaning. And people nowadays, they would not believe that a person like the Prophet wasallam, who lived in the desert of Arabia, that's arid and it doesn't have any type of cultivation, would think globally on that level. He wanted to make not, he didn't say that if you cultivate the desert of Mecca, or even on a wider scale, if you don't, if you cultivate the desert of Arabia, or if you cultivate the desert or the, your house as a Muslim or the area of Muslims, no. He made it on a very large scale, the whole scale of the planet. You can imagine what type of personality this person was, sallallahu alayhi wa Brothers and sisters, from now on, take these hadith and apply them in your life. You can do a small plantation even inside your house or in the garden if you live it, in, or in the court, or in any scale. Do that, and you will see, inshallah, the reward that you will get from Almighty Allah on the Day of Judgment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who listen to the statements, take the best of them, and apply them in our life. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Mamdur Nuruddin Muhammad.